Hi, my name is Cooper Williams, and this is a day in the life of a junior tennis player on the ITF Tour. Uh, I started playing tennis at like seven-ish, maybe six, seven, and didn't really pick it up competi competitively until I was maybe eight or nine. So I played for about a year, and then I decided, oh, it's kind of fun. I like it, and uh, I kept playing. Played in. I was from from New York, so I played in. I played like three days a week in New York until um, I, you know, got a little better, found my uh, found my rhythm, and I've been, you know, just going with it ever since. A lot of the juniors here, pretty much everyone here has made sacrifices. Uh, I went to um, an all-boys school in New York, and they're like my best friends. I went there until I was in seventh grade. And you know, at some point, when you're 12, 13, you're playing pretty good tennis. You can't really play in the US as much. So I went to France to play with Petit Doss, played that tournament. And you know, when I started doing well, we won the, Kyle and I actually won the doubles there. Uh, I'm doing, you know, virtual classes with other, I went to a school where they have, you know, a lot of people who excel in their in their you know individual area, and obviously I had to give up you know going to school every day and doing that, and I've had to give up you know as you know so, as many social experiences as you know some of the other kids have had, but uh, I wouldn't trade it in for anything. I mean I'm five in the world, and I love playing tennis, so and I you know I love the guys I'm around. We're all working hard and pushing each other, and it's just nothing but uh, good experiences. crazy low on grass, so like, our butts and hamstrings are super sore, so the less sore we feel, the better we can play, I feel like. Yeah. So. And like the horsepower difference? Yeah. The F1 cars have like a thousand horsepower, and the others have like 200 feet. And they got the horsepower like 200, 300 horsepower, they're going so fast. Yeah. 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 Wimbledon is extremely organized. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping I could just pick everyone's up and I know. be the guy that hands them out. I like, oh, I can't have all the power. Yeah, yeah. not so much. We've probably been together um, probably about a year and a half now. Um, I mean, he still spends some time down in South Florida, but he's definitely coming up to Orlando um, more and more. Uh, you know, we don't get to play on grass very much during the year. It's really just these two weeks, so I think a lot of it is just getting comfortable with the movement out here um, so you know being able to stay light on his feet but also trying to uh, get on his front leg a little bit more I think yesterday he was probably a little bit passive during the rallies and you know kind of reacting to the ball and not taking confident paths so I think a little bit today in practice especially after the first couple minutes is just you know trying to find good spacing but also trying to you know get on his front leg a little bit more take his body more through the ball obviously Brian was an unbelievable player he got to like 40 something in the world and the guy had one of the best backhands on tour, so obviously I'm doing a lot of backhand work all the time. But he's great. Um, he's a great coach, knows a lot about the game. And I've been working with him for about, I'd say, 18 months now. And I, overall, I just think I've gotten significantly better. What do you usually eat before a match then? Yeah. I mean, either this or pasta and chicken, chicken and rice. Something simple. It's just like, it's not going to come back up on the court if it's hot, you know? If, especially when you're playing in places that are hot. Like, I was playing in Milan. It was pretty humid every day. It's like if you don't eat well, you're gonna you're gonna suffer on the court. You're playing long matches, and you know it's gonna be pretty tough. So you gotta make sure like you're drinking well, you're eating well, doing that stuff, and like eating simple stuff like chicken, rice, pasta, just good carbs, just so you don't your body doesn't fail. You know. All right, this is my doubles partner Yaroslav. He's 
actually won Roland Garros, so he's quite the dubs player. We played together before. Yeah. <laughs> We're both, we won, I won Ozzy, he won Roland Garros, and so now we're playing together in a little bit. Yeah, so. so. Yeah, I mean, I have a good serve. Uh, I move pretty well. I'm not used to the surface, which is obviously I don't think anybody is except for, you know, some of the British guys. But I think I do come forward well. There's some, you know, pros I have, but I think I just have to play more on it. I don't move as well on the surface as I've wanted to. And, you know, it's a little quicker and I'm not really used to that because most of the stuff in the U.S. is not that fast. But overall, I think uh, the more time I spend on grass, I think it'll only get better. So that's the goal for this week and leading into Wimbledon, just, you know, get as many reps in as possible. No, it was pretty good. I mean, Yara and I both served well, which was nice. It makes things a lot easier for sure. Um, yeah, our energy was good. First set, we got the one break. And I mean, on grass, I feel like if you make 65% of first serves and cover the net pretty well in doubles, 
you get a break, it's you know, pretty much set, which it was. We played pretty solid on return games, played one really good game. And then, yeah, second set we went up early, broke down. We were down love 40 in that game and we broke. And that was a huge, you know, momentum shift. But then they played a great game and they, uh, they gave like a, you know, they had a second win, they gave a better effort. Uh, Yarrow had a great return at five all deuce and, you know, it was just, it's obviously like two or three points that won us the match, you know? So, but yeah, I mean, we played well, it was a good start. The wind's pretty tough. The balls are super heavy. So if you're against the wind returning, it's like you have two factors that are like, the ball doesn't go anywhere. That's why I was like chipping up so many lobs because I could smack it to the park and it'd still drop in the court somehow. But uh, yeah, it worked out pretty well just because when you're with the wind, you can serve really big. And when you're against, uh, you just gotta serve and just pray for the best. You know, serve their body so they ch if they throw it up, it'll sail along. So we played it pretty well. Yara did a great job serving against the wind, I think. Uh, he only got broken the once, but honestly that wasn't really his fault. They just laced a couple of returns, it's gonna happen. But yeah, we, we, did, we did a pretty good job. Definitely um, a little more comfortable on the grass. I get more matches now, more practice, and uh, put in the work this week and get ready for Wimby.